Corey Lewandowski was booked to be on this show exclusively tonight, but has subsequently canceled. So joining us now with reaction from Dallas, Trump campaign spokesperson Katrina Pearson, and from Houston, Cruz campaign communications director Alice Stewart. I'm going to start with you, Katrina. So um, it was a very, very busy day, breaking news all over the place. The uh, police in, in Florida said that they were going to go ahead and charge him. Originally, they said they were arresting Corey Lewandowski. He didn't get arrested. Tell us what the latest is from the camp. Well, Mr. Lewandowski did go and turn himself in because uh, there was a notice to appear in court. There was not an arrest, um, and he's going to plead guilty. Uh, the allegation is, is that Corey Lewandowski aggressively grabbed a reporter, nearly throwing her to the ground. Those are her words. Those were her original statements. She even wrote a blog about it, and we can see from the video that is not what happened. Right, Katrina, you say he's going to plead guilty. I mean, I'm sorry, plead not guilty. Right. Corey Lewandowski is innocent, and you are correct in your statement by saying that Donald Trump stands by Corey Lewandowski, as does the rest of the campaign. Okay, Alice, what, do you, what does the Cruz camp see? What do they see when they look at all this going on in the Trump campaign? Well, a picture paints a thousand words, Eric, and that picture uh, says it all. Look, this is a the consequence of uh, the Trump culture and the culture of a campaign that is based on insult, verbal, physical attacks, and complete disrespect for people. When you have a candidate that goes out to events and encourages uh, people at its events to punch others in the face and uh, attacks and harasses uh, another candidate's uh, spouse and uh, insults uh, your colleague Megan Kelly and Carly Fiorina, this is a campaign that leadership starts at the top. And when you have a leader who engages in a culture of such disrespect, it trickles down. And this is the consequences of it. And look, people have a choice. You can uh, side with a campaign that is based on insults and attacks, or someone like Ted Cruz, who is bringing the Republican Party together. And we don't want to talk about this. We want to put this behind us. And I'm assuming that the Trump campaign does as well, because what we're seeing, Ted Cruz is unifying Republicans. We had the governor of Wisconsin right. come out today. I, I and don't know. That's simply just not the case. Go that's, ahead, Katrina. You can respond to this saying that uh, Alice is saying that this starts from the top, basically pointing the finger at Donald Trump for what happened to Michelle Fields. Well, that's just not the case. I mean, the culture of this campaign is, as Mr. Trump mentioned from the very beginning, it's not politically correct. And sometimes telling the truth inherently is belligerent. And these are facts. Mr. Trump has been defending himself and members of his campaign for a very long time. He has never once gone on offense. He's always been on defense. And as he always mentions, that he's a counter puncher. There is no culture of anything. If there's a culture of anything in a campaign, it's dirty tricks. And there has been the Cruz campaign from the beginning. It's undeniable. But to, to the further point with this specific allegation against Corey Lewandowski, this is another example of how everyone tries to take advantage of attacking Mr. Trump. This is, a, this is a hashtag never Trump idea. The incident occurred, and it wasn't until days later when this reporter went to the police after the narrative was shaped on Twitter. Nothing happened at this event that hasn't happened in any other event. When you are in the middle of press scrum, more importantly, crossing a Secret Service threshold to reach out and put your hands on a candidate, and you can see Donald Trump withdraw when she grabbed his arm. What, are you, what do you expect to happen? So, of course, reporters so, are so, always moved so around. Let me, let me ask you, Alice, Alice is, it, is it possible that this incident is being somewhat politicized? Uh, absolutely not. As I said, the picture paints a thousand words. What we're seeing with our own two eyes, and, and for, for Donald Trump and the campaign to say that this didn't happen, I heard another Trump spokesperson earlier today say this is the new normal. Well, I certainly hope not. I think uh, the people of this country deserve much better reporters deserve much better, and the political process deserves much better. Look, it is absolutely plain and simple what happened here. Well, and well, what did you know, I mean, I'm, I'm, not, this uh, look, I'm, I'm watching, court of law. I'm watching the videos as well. This reporter was not thrown to the ground. So, so here's the question. I mean, it, well, part of the, you know, the, the legal barrier that they, have to, that they have to pass is, I believe there has to be some sort of intent on one hand, or, you know, some, some malice uh, by Corey Lewandowski. Um, do you think that was there, Alice? Well, that, that's what will be decided in a court of law. And, and look, the, the, the picture says a lot, and I'll, I encourage everyone to take a look at this. And I, I take Michelle's words for, for what she says, and as well as the local law enforcement officer that, that uh, brought these charges forth. Look, this is a situation that the, the Trump has to deal with. This is uh, another case of actions have consequences. Right. And the actions 
throughout the culture of this campaign have been those of disrespect, those of verbal and physical abuse, and let them deal with that. Look, what we're doing today, we started out today with phenomenal news of the endorsement of Wisconsin Governor Scott Walker. Okay, he stands right. behind Ted Cruz. We understand this. Let's stay on this, let's stay on this you guys. Let's stay on what this is. The, 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 topic is the topic is this, this court Lewandowski um, showing up at police uh, headquarters in Florida. Um, Katrina, take a listen to Ted Cruz and John Kasich responding to, to what happened today, the events of the day. It's a very sad development, uh, and this is the consequence of the culture of the Trump campaign, uh, the abusive culture. When you have a campaign that is built on personal insults, on attacks, and now physical violence. I can only talk about what I would do. Um, we probably would suspend somebody. And, you know, it would depend what it is and what the, what the evidence was. But when we see things that we think are inappropriate, we just, we take action. Now, Katrina, the, the Donald Trump campaign, Donald Trump himself has tweeted, as we showed earlier in, in the segment, his support for Corey Lewandowski. Sure. Well, I mean, and these two candidates, Kasich and Cruz, both are also two candidates that took the side of domestic terrorist Bill Ayers and Black Lives Matter at a Trump rally. So what they're talking about is more politici politicization. But to Alice's point, I will say this. Allegations also have consequences. This is a man that has four small children being accused of battering a woman. I am very confident that Mr. Lewandowski is going to beat these charges, and the only thing this is going to do is change the way the press is handled at these events. Because, again, this was in Scrum. I personally have been knocked around by cameras for reporters trying to get in front of my boss's face, even slashed with a camera. Alice, you don't go Alice, and sue the network. Alice, do you it's hold the, do you hold the Secret Service accountable for this? Because if, if they were if they were able to keep the reporters away, Lewandowski wouldn't have been there to do that. Look, I've been in, uh, on a campaign with, uh, in the Secret Service bubble, and they, they do tremendous work. And believe me, if there was a threat to a candidate, the Secret Service would be the first ones to jump in and take action. And they were right there, right by Donald Trump when this happened. And for, for, for Corey to step in and do this, clearly uh, the local law enforcement authority, after reviewing the case and talking to people, felt there was a concern. Look, and, and as we continue to say, this is not the first time there's been a uh, Right. Violent activity at, at a campaign event, and this is all part of the Trump culture. Again, and that is why he's, he's having Lives difficulty. Matter. Bill Ayers and MoveOn.org. All right, we're gonna have but to leave it right there. A America. fair and balanced debate, Alice.